way that I'm going outside. My pockets been heavy as shit. What's poppin' M2T? It's your boy Ron on the channel to be. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and most definitely that subscribe button when you pull up to the channel. And while you at it, go on and hit that post notification button for your boys so whenever I drop. You can hop up in the truck and roll with me. See what's popping. How's it going, fam? Hey, man, we got one more day of the week, and it's over. We on the 34. We relaxing. We getting ready to go see the fam. You know what I'm saying? Another week, another one down. Thank you, Lord. All right, today, I got two good stories for you guys today. This week, in Chicago, West Chicago, rail car comes through, through West Chicago. It stops in the city to drop off one of the carts. This rail cart is full of containers that stacked on top of each other. When the rail cart stopped to switch one of the, the carts and let it off and drop it off at a warehouse, well, <laughs> broad daylight. It's the West Chicago come out. It's in the hood. And as you know, the unthinkable happened. Check this out. Now why the hell them? Why they want to do it? Why they want to do it? Come on, man. Come on, man. You can't make it up. <laughs> Helicopter flying over. It, it people running there. They, man, I'm talking about they, they didn't open the container. They throwing TVs up out there. They got TVs, DVDs, microwaves. Hey, what you need? Hey, I got your pulling. Man, they didn't put trucks up. They didn't put box trucks up. I'm talking about granny, auntie, sister, cousin. Hey, y'all got, we on our way. Man, it gets some man, it's crazy, man. I don't mean to laugh him too, Timmy, but it just show you how hard times is. You know, it times is hard, man. People trying to get it however they can get it. You know, now out of all them people, it was reported that they only caught like six of them. And out of the six, they kept four. They let two of them go. But you see all of them like, dang, six? That's all they got? <laughs> Man, they had vans, they had, they had all kind of trucks, man, come on, man. That's why they come up at that point like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, let me get one more. <laughs> Say, man. man, it's hard. It's hard out there, man. So I wanted to run that across y'all real quick, and we go get on to the next story. Now, as you guys know, in um, Tolly, Utah, we just did a story in Tolly, Utah, where the truck driver brakes went out, and unfortunately, y'all saw all the, the chaos that came with that. Well, it was a story that was out before that, where a truck driver was found, his truck was found parked on the side of I-80. When the, when his one of his co-workers was following him and noticed that his GPS wasn't moving, pulled up on him, went up to the truck, found him deceased in his day cab. So, and for you guys that don't know about that story, because we didn't cover it when it happened, I want to just give you a quick recap of that story. Check this out. 
Bob, that's right. Investigators are still here at this crime scene in Dell. There is not much out here. This is an old railroad village. The only people who really stop here are people who stop at the local gas station or they're dirt bikers or gravel cyclists. Now, according to the Department of Public Safety, one of the drivers of the semis behind me noticed uh, his co-worker's GPS stopped moving. He drove here to check on him, and that's when he found him in the sleeper cab. This happened around 10:15 this morning, and investigators are suspecting foul play. But this time we do sus we do uh, it is suspicious, uh, so we've deployed our state bureau of investigations, and they're carrying out the investigation at this time. Law enforcement is checking with the gas station here to see if there are any security cameras that could have caught what happened. But Sergeant Chad McCoy, who you just heard from, says it's a little difficult right now. They're still trying to finalize the timelines for how long the semi was parked here. He did say there is no cause for public concern. Now I want to give you guys the update on that case. Check this out. From prosecutors in Tooele County have issued murder charges and an arrest warrant for a man from Washington State. Authorities believe 46-year-old Jaswinder Dillon, Jaspinder Singh, at a truck stop in Dell on September 26th. He's also facing an aggravated kidnapping charge. If you have any information that could help lead to Dillon's capture, call police. All right, now. I want to, before we get, I want to show you guys just a brief report. You know what I mean? It's not long at all. Just, just a brief report to kind of give us a little bit more details on what actually happened to Sing. Now, I'm going to skip some of the unimportant part in it and just show y'all the most important parts, the detailed part. But let's get to the report real quick. On Tuesday, the, to the Tolley County Attorney's Office filed charges of aggravated, unaliving, and aggravated um abduct kidnapping against 46 year old just went to sink dillon who lives in washington state it was not clear whether the suspect and victim were related no bail warrant was also issued for dillon's arrest charging documents state that dillon may have followed sink from truck stop to truck stop along 180 possibly as far as west as reno before allegedly unaliving him investigators said they reviewed surveillance footage from the sinclair and dillian dash cam footage from Sink's co-worker's truck, which I remember the co-worker had, had been following um, Sink, the victim, and he noticed his GPS wasn't moving no more. So they reviewed the co-worker's dash cam. The camera shows Sink's truck pulling up to the gas station around 3.30 a.m. about 30 seconds later. A white Mercedes was seen driving slowly around the parking lot. Footage reportedly showed the Mercedes slowly following Sink's truck on the I-80 off-ramp. Shortly after Singh per parked his truck, a hooded figure is seen on camera walking from the Mercedes to Singh's truck. Investigators obtained Life360 GPS data from the victim that showed him traveling down a nearby footage frontage road. Then back to the gas station, then getting on I-80 and taking the next exit of Delhi. The truck appeared to then turn back around, head west on I-80, past Delhi, then take the next exit to the west. It then returned to Delhi where it was left on the on the on the on ramp. About an hour before the vehicles arrived at the Delhi gas station, both the victim's truck and the Mercedes believed to belong to the suspect were seen on port of entry cameras near the Utah Nevada state line and Wendover. Hours before that, security cameras footage showed the two vehicles pulled into the gas station in Wales and in Wales and in Wanamuga. All three times, the Mercedes appeared to be within a minute behind Singh's truck. License plate readers identified the Mercedes as being registered to Dillon. Investigators eventually obtained photos of the person driving the Mercedes. Officials said their appearances matched the hooded figure seen inside the Winnemuga gas station, as well as identification photos of Dillon. A warrant was issued for Dillon's arrest. It's not yet known whether Dillon has been taken into custody. It seems like in the in the in the Middle Eastern community, especially when it comes to these names like Sink, when it comes to that, the Middle Eastern community, is, the Sink community is pretty much tight knitted. Y'all remember not too long ago, uh, uh, a truck driver got 
got out his truck and, and approached the guy that he got into it with on the side of the highway. And as he was approaching him with a pole, the guy upped on him. He clutched on him. He tried to turn around and run, but it was too late. That victim, his name was Sink. So that community and the, the guy that unalived him, he was also, I believe, a Sink. He was Middle Eastern. Cause you know, we was going back and forth on whether they knew each other or not, but we was a lot of us were saying that they did. Uh, this is the same situation. This is very similar to that situation. Both of the guys' name is Sink. So what's the issue with the Sink community unaliving each other like this? You know, because really these are good people and it's almost kind of unheard of for the Middle Eastern culture to be getting into it like that. It's very, very suspicious. Very suspicious. So it seemed like Dylan, the, the suspect, was following uh the victim seemed like he was following him because them license plate readers and them cameras and them gps 360 they're like 360 they ask go tell everything they ask can it's gonna tell everything you know so it seemed like when he followed me he was a minute behind as soon as he got out and went in that fuel station around 3 30 a.m he rushed up on him he rushed up on him you know and he had him driving around back and forth and uh, he eventually made him pull up off the side of the ramp and did what he did. You know, hopped out, skirt. You know, but I wanted to bring that update to you guys. You guys get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about the Chicagoans out there acting a the damn fool, jumping off in them containers, stealing all them folks' TVs, 50 inches, 60 inches, 70 inches TVs. Hey, let me know if you, hey, is, is it a hustle? You know, because think about it, I, I have had partners back in the days, you know, they used to do all kinds of hustles. They used to hit pawn shops. They used to hit uh, trains when they come through and stop. This is not unheard of. Actually, this stuff, this hitting them trains is not unheard of, especially where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? In Fort Worth, it's not unheard. It's not unheard of. You know, I had partners that do that and they came across a lot of stuff. It's hard times. They getting it how they live. You know, is they is you know ain't too much going on as far as assistance. You know, is is they right for doing what they doing? <laughs> I don't know. All right, big shout out to my A1 Day ones. Big shout out to the ones that just be glancing in and see what's popping. And a special shout out to the new subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Y'all could have been doing anything else today, but you decided to pull up on your boy, see what's popping. Man, I appreciate you. Salute, fam. Salute. All right, you guys already know. Until next time. It's your boy. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around. Hey, jewelry moving like juice. I can't go to the